Yeah, man. You know, beating up the Ottomans. Look what it does to a man. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where you play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with what some people think is an impossible start as the nation of Noxos. Noxos is a nation located in the Aegean Sea right here. We start off on this archipelago right here, and we do start off as a vassal of Venice as well. We're a regular duchy with Duke Giacomo II, Crispy right here, who's a 132, not very good, and next and ideas i actually don't know them but i do think they focus on naval stuff so let's take a look at them right now we start off at plus four tolerance of heretics and minus 25 percent cost of fabricated claims then we finish off with minus 15 percent diplo annex cost and in the meantime we have a plus 20 percent naval force limit and plus 10 percent galley combat ability really strong double idea minus 20 percent morale hit when losing a ship actually very underrated plus 10 percent embargo efficiency and plus 25 percent privateer efficiency yearly army tradition plus 0.5 minus one national rest minus five tech cost and minus 10 percent ccr which makes uh naxian ideas decent if you ask me of course even though we start off in the region of greece right here and even though our province is orthodox and greek culture we actually start off with a uh, Lombard culture, I think, and Catholic as well, because we're a remnant crusader state, just like the nations of, uh, well, Rhodes, Athens, Epirus, and uh, Cyprus as well, I think. But what do we do as Naxos? Well, as one commenter pointed out, and I can't be bothered to check if this is actually true, Naxos is actually the final nation in A to Z that has the ability to form the Latin Empire. And even though that's not what I wanted to do, I actually wanted to go back and conquer Italy and, uh, you know, our homeland of uh, Lombard culture right here. Of course, since it's the last nation, probably they can form the Latin Empire. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. I've never formed the Latin Empire. Breaking free from Venice is going to be hard judging by the fact that i can't get the game started as corfu but uh maybe it'll be slightly easier than corfu i don't know we'll break free from venice expand where fight the ottomans when and um uh, yeah boys this is the toughest one we've had in a while so let's jump in as noxos and try and form the latin empire all right, right here we are as Noxos, and of course, like I said, our province is a Greek culture right here, and we are Orthodox, but actually our ruler right here is a Venetian, Venetian, not Lombard, sorry, or wait, yeah, Venetian culture, not Lombard, my bad, and we are Catholic. Okay, let's take a look at this, Venice's rivals are Hungary, the Pope, and uh, the Ottomans, all three of those guys technically border Venice, so all three of those guys could technically help us out as well, maybe Milan too, we'll see what's up with that later, but uh, in the meantime, we start off as a regular feudal nobility, no crew crusader state thingies just yet not until we uh, actually form the latin empire by taking this mission right here so uh yeah let's try and accomplish some of these missions let me get the estate set up in order and uh you know we don't have a truce with with uh venice we should be able to declare uh as soon as we get support okay so a month has ticked by i'm improving with aragon for now started building up my army hired a diplorep guy and uh hungary and the pope will support us immediately so i will get hungary and the pope to support me immediately but uh i think we should try and look for someone else over here as well so i'm gonna try and prove with uh let's see right here oh milan will support us as well uh aragon what about aragon let's see right here Aragon actually doesn't like me that much. They don't hate Venice. Yeah, so let's get Milan, and I'll try and see if I can get the Mamluks in Serbia, but if not, I'll I'll declare with the Pope Milan in Hungary. Venice usually doesn't get strong allies. Yeah, it's just Siena right here, so uh, yeah, let's improve a little bit more. Ah, uh, Milan has a truce with Venice until this... Yeah, just one year, no big deal. Yeah, I wonder if we can get the Ottomans here, man. Okay, so a little more time has passed. I did get Milan once the truce expired, and I also managed to get Albania. I don't think we can get anyone else. I improved with Ragusa and the Mamluks to the max, and they still uh, don't like me. So this should be enough, I think. Uh, Albania, Hungary, Milan, the Pope, the Croatia, and the Pope's vassals will come in as well. We do have superior numbers, man. Of course, we can't beat Venice's fleet. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to occupy anything down here. Uh, the Ottomans already declared on base. Let's hope they don't full annex them. So uh, yeah, let me just send a scornful insult to Venice right here so we don't have good relations and i think i'll declare yeah got the free company up what else is left to do pretty much nothing there we go there's the independence uh we can take a mission immediately sway the pope perma claims on this right here two provinces that uh venice owns actually pretty nice oh sweet i did manage to cross nice okay so war is war is going pretty good man um albania oh no i'm their only ally their guarantee with uh venice stopped because 
you know, they're fighting them. But uh, yeah, peace out, Sienna. Peace out, Silly. This is where we're at right now. I am going to have to decline this. This sucks so much. But uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty ready to peace out here soon. Okay, war here is pretty much done. Now, uh, I have occupation of this, this, and uh, this. So we got to be careful here, man, because I want to keep these alliances. I don't want the Ottomans declaring on me. Obviously, you know, they want my land. So first, obviously, we're getting grand independence. And then if I take this... Milan and the Pope are mad, but Hungary isn't, interestingly. Okay, so I can take Crete as well. I can take Corfu. I can take Kataro here. Hungary still isn't mad. Excellent, because they're landlocked. Pope is mad. Maybe I can give Ravenna to the Pope. It is their core. Okay, now they're not that mad. And maybe I can give this to Milan. Now they're happy. Actually, they won't accept that. They'll accept this. And can I get War Eps too? I can't get war reps. Okay, let's wait a little bit more so I can do this big deal. Okay, now that I accept. So I'll get this right here. Uh, I can, with this, most importantly, fight Serbia, Bosnia, Herzegovina right here, expand elsewhere. Give this to the Pope, give this to Milan, and war reps. Perfect. All right, that's that. We're done. Now, Corfu right here. Can I release anyone? Corfu, Montenegro. Uh, you know what? I'll actually release Corfu right here just so this becomes a level 3 fort. Maybe bait the Ottomans to do something there. Uh, and now I'll actually go there. Okay, let's build up our navy a little bit. Of course, it says I'm gonna go bankrupt. Obviously, I'm not. Loans are bigger right now, so... Yeah, let's try and find some other big allies and, uh, spy on Serbia. Try and get that gold mine. Alright, got the Diplorp thingy from the Pope, and after Royal marrying Aragon, I can ally them as well, and then, this is very fun right here, we can take Maritime Allies, and uh, Aragon just gave Malta to us, so a little more expansion is always welcome. Meanwhile, spying on Serbia, let's, uh, let's spy on Herzegovina as well. What I really want to try and get later is an alliance with Austria and Poland, man, because <laughs> I gotta fight the Ottomans, and I ain't doing it by myself, but that's what's up. Meanwhile, Aragon has once again lost to France, these provinces, just like in my Navarra game. Weird. And by the way, obviously, we are staying uh, Venetian and Catholic, right? Uh, now, everything we're going to conquer is Orthodox here, but it's not giving me religious disunity because of the plus four tolerance of heretics, right? Yeah, I guess. Tier 2 cover form time, obviously strengthen noble privileges. Ah, Venice warned me, but... Okay, that's valid for this. It's not valid for Serbia, though. Sweet. Wait, Hungary will probably break my alliance. No, no, they don't actually want Serbia. Okay, so I shouldn't take Bosnia in this war. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Yes, 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 yes. So important. So important. Ottomans are pretty aggressive this campaign, especially this way, obviously, because I'm playing next to them. I really got to declare on Serbia here very soon. It's just I'm not ready, right? Even though loans are huge now, and I just got new burger loans. Yeah, what's my force limit, man? Not over force limit, actually. What about tech? What about... I am over Bosnia. I'll declare as soon as I core. Frick, the Ottomans did declare. Uh, okay, I gotta do it immediately then. Uh, no, wait. Uh, merge. Uh, you go there, you go there. Ottomans peaced out. I occupied this, they occupied this. That's all they took. Obviously, the AI pieces out a lot quicker now when they know they can't get anything else. Hungary still desires Bosnia. Yeah, man, I don't think I can take this. Frick, it would be so good for us to vassalize them. Yeah, what I'm gonna do here is simply full annex. Actually, no, let me separate piece Bosnia since I'm not taking anything from them. There we go, war reps, money. And now I'm just gonna full annex Serbia. That's that. Sweet, at least we got the gold mine. And uh, no way Ottomans are declaring on us with this alliance network. Ah, uh, Hungary broke their alliance with me either way. Shit, I just taken Bosnia, man. Uh, the good thing is, though, Ladislas Posthumus is in charge, and uh, the Austrian guy as well, so as soon as this guy dies, I think, Austria will get Hungary as a junior partner, which is great for me. I, I do want that to happen. I do want Austria to be strong. Let's hope they get Bohemia as well. Meanwhile, no, no. Oh, wait, if I improve with Poland a little bit. Wait, no, that's my Zobia, actually. Uh, while I'm dealing with rebels, or actually while the Ottomans are dealing with my rebels, uh, let's, uh, let's develop Noxos up a little bit, huh? Help speed up the spawning of the Renaissance. Super low on admin points, by the way, because I did stab up and stuff like that, so... Yeah, let's just use Dip and Mill. I really don't know where to expand right now. Uh, no one would help versus the Ottomans, I don't know why I'm even checking that, but... Naples, perhaps? Sure. And by the way, we need to own something like this right here to form the Latin Empire, right? First, we need to do a foothold in Greece, and then these are all the things we need to own. So, all provinces in Northern Greece, Macedonia, Thrace, uh, Huda Vendegar. Yeah, so the highlighted ones over here. Okay, so this right here. Cool. That's not that. 
uh, not doable, honestly. New guy is pretty good. Yeah, and the Ottomans are like super aggro, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Embrace the Renaissance, and there's the gold mine devved up to 10 as well. Just lowered autonomy. Cash really isn't gonna be a problem anymore. Awesome. Expansion is, though. Yeah, I gotta fight. Yeah, I said, I said it out loud. I said I wanna fight Naples. No, they got 58 allies. <laughs> Tasha would help. Dude, what the frick? Why are they so weak? I can finally do this mission. Galley combat ability. Nice. Uh, there's an alliance with uh, Castile. This is pretty good. They're also allied to Asha. And later, if they get Aragon, I think they'll be strong enough to rival the Ottomans, which could mean that they would help out. Interestingly, uh, Portugal and Castile aren't allied, man. Okay, so I think I'm uh, ready to declare on Naples here. Ah, uh, they're multi five. Aragon is five. Who else is going to come in? Milan. Milan is five. Yeah, I should be getting a... <laughs> Not that strong. Okay, either way, I'll declare on Vena, uh, on uh, Naples for Salento, well, on Aragon and Milan. We don't outnumber them by too much, but uh, yeah, I'm also going to take stuff from Ragusa here, which is super nice. Uh, there's uh, there's Austria getting Hungary. Perfect. I'm going to separate piece. Is A really that high? It's not even that high. Whatever, I'm going to separate piece Ragusa. Uh. Progress on this front. I can Royal Mary Poland and I'll be able to ally them too. Nice. Thanks, Austria. We're done with Naples too. Unfortunately, Aragon occupied the best province. Obviously, they have interest right there as well. So what I'm going to do is just take this right here. Yeah, that should be about enough for now. Let's actually accumulate them too and get war reps. And uh, I think I'll fight them later if I have the opportunity. What are the Ottomans doing, man? Either way, there is an alliance with Poland. Okay, if I can drag in Austria with Hungary and Poland with Moldavia, Prussia, and Lithuania, we'll be able to easily take on the Ottomans uh, when they go and fight uh, like the Mamluks or someone. Yeah, they'd all join. It's just this Venice warning is so stupid. First idea group time. We're good with uh, diplo relations. We're good with making money. So obviously uh, that leaves only mill idea groups. Let's go quality since, uh, you know, we do have naval ideas, international ideas. And these will help out a lot as well. Yo, this is sick. Uh, uh, Aragon and Castile would join too. Okay, let's say Poland would come in. That's, we outnumber them by so much. I think I'm going to declare, even if they're not fighting anyone down here, right uh, when uh, Venice is uh, warning expires in March 1475. Hey, okay, let's chill until then, then. You know what? I am going to start my golden era now. Why not? Just took this as well. Helping Milan fight Genoa to your three cover form time. I'm going to go with uh, Expanded Royal Court. Okay, Venice's warning on me has expired and everyone would still join. So Aquiluan Tunis. Castile and Aragon, I guess, will piece out Tunis here. That shouldn't be too difficult. And then the Ottomans got 51k, Miltech 5. Let's take a look at everyone else's Miltechs. Okay, Austria and Hungary are actually ahead. Poland and Lithuania are matching. Castile and Aragon are also ahead. Okay, this isn't looking bad at all. Uh, of course, I'll be the first to take the hit here since I boarded the Ottomans, but uh, if I put my boats in the Aegean Sea, we should be able to protect from them crossing onto Noxos. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and declare on the Ottomans for the conquest of, uh, let's see, Athens, for example, since I will be taking stuff down here, call in Poland along with Lithuania and the Ducal Prussia, call in Austria along with Hungary, call in Aragon and call in Castile. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna win this easily. Wow, my navy actually lost. I didn't expect that. <laughs> War is going great. We're occupying quite a lot. Iberian Wedding also happened at the same time. And Austria, uh, Castile actually chose to stay, uh, chose to not get Aragon. Doesn't really matter since I'm allied to both of them, though. Yeah, very easy war so far. My allies are defeating the Ottomans in battles up here. Well, this is just naval battles. But uh, yeah, they just got some dubs up here. The Ottomans were focusing on this region. Meanwhile, I'm staying back to beat them up over here. But yeah, they outnumbered me a little bit. Either way, it's going to take a while, but it's going to be easy. Just pieced out Tunis as well, and I think we'll be able to get uh, Hassa soon because they're losing to someone else. Yeah, these guys really aren't teching up in Mill because they want quality. Yeah, they're using their points for that. Nice. Just got a pop-up saying that the Mamluks are preparing to declare on the Ottomans, which, of course, if you get that pop-up, it always happens. Yep, there it is. Sweet. And we're done. That's a 99% on the Ottomans. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do right here is... Uh, well, this is occupied by the Mamluks, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take these provinces that we have claims on. Then I'm going to get war reps since it is important. Uh, and actually, let me transfer this over back from uh, my subject, Corfu. Uh, I was uh, transferring it to them so they could pay for the forts. There we go, just like that. And then what I think I want to do is go up like this so we can connect our land. Uh, let's go ahead and take this as well. And how about something like this? Perfect. So Southern Greece, Northern Greece, and Macedonia along with uh, war reps. Not taking Constantinople just yet. I know I will be doing it later. And uh, that's a lot of aggressive expansion, a lot of admin points. And I'm not going to be releasing a Byzantium, but I might actually release uh, Bulgaria here. We'll see. But uh, that's that. We're done. Easy. These guys aren't a problem anymore. Perfect.
yeah, I think I will uh, release uh, Bulgaria. There we go. Either way, now we have the mission foothold in Greece, which gives us further claims on these provinces. And once I conquer these provinces right here, then we'll be able to... Uh, form the Latin Empire. I think we'll need two wars for this, though, without releasing Bez. Yeah, two wars. All right, but now let's relax. We'll see if we can fight Naples soon. Uh, let's give the nobles strong duchies as well, since they have two vassals. Uh, there we go. And uh, we can go ahead and lower war exhaustion a bit. And then for the provinces up. I don't even have loans and I have 500 ducats in the bank, dude. That's sick. Let's get indebted and really start building. Oh, yeah, let's build up our navy, too. It got absolutely obliterated. Second idea group time, you know, we are sort of, uh, well, gonna become a crusader state, so why not go religious, man? Even though these orthodox provinces aren't giving me any penalties due to this amazing starting national idea, why not lean into the whole crusader state thing by going uh, religious? Francesco Sforza, Sforza, okay. Mamluks didn't take too much from the Ottomans, they made them release Aiden, and then they took only these two provinces. Shame. Funny, the Ottomans are guaranteeing Venice. <laughs> I would fight Venice otherwise, maybe like for these three provinces. But uh, yeah, even though everyone would join it, this would help me reset my truce with the Ottomans. I, it's just not worth it. Let's just wait for uh, this to expire in. Nah, yeah, not that long. In six years. Easy. These guys actually have a really fun mission tree, man. It takes you to uh, lots of different places, honestly. Spying on Aiden right now, they don't have any allies and no one's guaranteeing them, so... Yeah, uh, we could potentially fight them. And look, this is how I've been getting money the whole game, man, pretty much. It's four from war reps and like nine from gold. That's like 13 ducats. Otherwise, I'd be making like one and a half ducat a month without the gold mine and war reps. Ah, so while I was spying on Aiden, they did manage to ally the Mamluks. Not gonna fight them after all. Okay, tier four got reform timelines for the church. Oh, this is so tempting. This is actually so tempting, dude. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do it, yo. I wasn't gonna fight Naples since the truce with the Ottomans is up in three years, but come on, excommunicated ruler? We gotta take advantage of this. Just wanna point out that Bohemia went who side this campaign? Super easy war since I managed to call in Austria as well. Uh, Pope occupied Abruzzi. Okay, can we take all of this? Yeah, that's so cheap. <laughs> 41A, dude, awesome. Let's take all of their money as well. And that's that. Like I said, I wasn't gonna fight them, but hey, who am I to turn down an opportunity? Uh, like that. All right, let's chill a little bit and then we'll fight the Ottomans again, which, ah, uh, of course they got harder to fight. Okay, well, peace out Bohemia easily, but I, I don't know how big the Timurids are. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can see them in the ledger either since I don't know about them. Yeah, can't see them here. Hmm. Oh, for now they wouldn't even join, so great. Let me also start annexing Corfu. I did give the nobility integration policy. They are pretty influential. Truce with the Ottoman is up. This time Castile, however, wouldn't join Distant War. Maybe they'll change their mind after I declare. Uh, what do we do here? What do we do? Let's see. Timurids wouldn't come in like this. We can do a reconquest for, like, uh, that right there. Call in Poland, Austria, Aragon, Milan. Yeah, easy. Timurids wouldn't join. Let's do it. It's a reconquest, right? Yeah, it is. And this time, I did get naval superiority. Super weak Diplo game from Castile, this game, man. No colonies yet, uh, don't have Portugal, don't have Aragon, don't have Naples, no nothing. And that's 100% on the Ottomans. <laughs> Let's give Bulgaria all of their cores back, that's not a lot of AE at all, and what I'll do is, uh, ah, I can't take Constantinople. Alright, let's take Lesbos and this then, since we do need it for a mission. And uh, I wonder if I can take Albania here. Let me transfer everything over to myself. Uh, we'll we'll do Thrace uh, later on. I'm not I'm not really in a hurry at all. These wars are super easy. Let's go ahead and take Albania as well. And I need this too, right? Yeah, perfect. And then this will be it for the final war. These uh, few provinces left in Europe. Perfect. That's done. Nice. Now all we need is this. We've just become a great power as well, which is super nice. And I think I should be able to become a kingdom pretty soon as well. And the Mamluks have just declared on them again. This is uh, great for me. I am converting stuff now, by the way. Byzantium popped out and they're guaranteed by... Well, they were guaranteed by QQ. That's who made the Ottomans pop him out. But, uh... Yeah. Why not? Hey, wait. How did Bulgaria lose this? I swear I gave it to them. Let's take a look at province history. Occupied by Bulgaria, occupied by... I guess I didn't take it, huh? Either way, we're done with uh, Biz here. That uh, saves us a little conquest in the Ottoman War. Not that it really changes anything. Let's annex Bulgaria. Burgundy, by the way, when the Burgundian succession happened, they chose to stay independent. They don't have their boys up here anymore, but they have expanded like this. And they're still alive, even though France declared a PU war on them. I think I can finally become a kingdom. There we go. At least the golf cap is nice, you know? Let's go ahead and state some stuff. Yeah, looks like the Timurids are pretty strong, man. Good thing they didn't join, um, you know, uh, in this 
Now the Ottomans have no allies. Just annex Bulgaria. Tier 5 got reform time. Do we have any unique ones? No, I just guessed the, uh, these, uh, you know, semi-unique Italian ones. But, uh, country allows Gallius ships. I don't even know what that is. But, uh, let's do, let's do military. No, let's do this. I'm gonna ally the knights just because they're raiding me all the time. Yeah, I can finally see the Timurids at least a little bit. They are pretty big. Oh, no, this is not good, dude. My guy is 68, the air is 53, and now he dies. I gotta get this. He's zero. Just as I'm getting ready to declare on uh, the Ottomans, man, my truce with them was about to expire in like two months. Milan called me into this, which of course is going to be short, but now Austria's called me into this. No, no, no. They're not allied to Moscow. Yeah, they rejected the call to arms. I guess that's why they declared. Fine. Ah, we'll have to wait for this for a little bit. All of these provinces, all of a sudden, they started giving me religious disunity. I guess tolerance went way down. Yeah, because of all these other modifiers I have. Okay, now that those wars are over, we can declare for the conquest of Constantinople, call in Poland and their boys, Austria and their boys, Milan and the Pope, Venice is in this too. I'll probably take um, some stuff. Defender of the Faith? Why not? That's a wrap on Religious 2. Yeah, man. You know, beating up the Ottomans. Look what it does to a man. They've allied these guys. <laughs> Pretty funny. You know, peace out Venice for Durazzo right here. This isn't occupied by me, so yeah. And that's a 100% on the Ottomans. Let's go ahead and peace out. I'll take uh, this one, Constantinople, and these two. Don't really want or care for anything else. Let's uh, let's humiliate them, because if this wasn't humiliating enough already. And let's take uh, as much money as we can. And we're done. Sweet. Let me core this up. And now that I've cored up Constantinople, I can go ahead and take the mission, the Latin Empire, where we gain a permaclaim on Anatolia and the Balkans. And this event happens. Boom. There we go. There's the Latin Empire event. Constantinople is ours. Our government rank changes to an empire. And we can become a crusader state. Tier 1 government form. Heirs and rulers can be generals. Monastic order pretty much. Manpower recovery speed. And a permanent CB against neighboring heathens and heretics. Or, of course, we can keep the same government rank basically uh you know be a monarchy but we just uh you know change to uh what you call it to an empire and stuff like that and uh not from the latin empire of course this is the rule for the challenge today constantinople is ours and there we are the latin empire ah looks pretty good all right let's take a look at the stuff for this country I, i've uh, never actually played it before there we go there's the crusader state tier one gov reform which is uh is it a type of monarchy yeah we got an heir it's still the same guys in charge every other gov reform is the same so uh that's pretty dope right there let's take a look at latin ideas plus five percent discipline mystery strength versus heretic super strong a missionary uh one government thingy plus one government thingy and plus 100 percent vassal force limit contribution yearly people influence and curia powers stab discount advisor discount galley combat global trade power calf combat calf to infantry all of these are like double ideas man <laughs> really strong by the way yeah pretty good national ideas for a religious focused playthrough same mission tree by the way either way that about wraps up our challenge for today but yeah there you go man start off as uh, noxos in this one province right here a vassal of uh, venice as you all know and uh, i did this first shot i didn't even need to restart or anything which is kind of weird since i've been having so much trouble with corfu i guess it's different when uh, you release yourself and stuff like that but uh yeah this was super easy pretty straightforward got a bunch of guys to support my independence the pope albania uh, milan hungary got all of these amazing allies stayed allied with all of them throughout the entirety of the campaign except for hungary which of course broke their alliance with me but doesn't matter because austria got them in the end and after that it was a uh, you know lucky expansion because i did manage to grab this province from venice after that we expanded into uh, you know this region got the gold mine really helped fund our conquest expanded over here a little bit in italy a little bit and after uh, getting a bunch of strong allies we were finally able to declare on the ottomans even while they weren't fighting anyone else for easy first war honestly easy second war as well release bulgaria got their course back it didn't release biz and uh then in this third and final war we got these two provinces which is uh pretty much everything i needed in order to form the latin empire a very fun a very straightforward campaign struggle with cash a bit in the early game but look at this now man it's not even that much from gold making very nice income went quality religious which i do think is pretty fitting for a playthrough like this did some missions of course these other ones focus on provinces here which of course i wasn't really too interested in there we go we can actually build uh you know some uh, monuments as well the palace of caserta let's do the parthenon actually 
uh, stated mostly everything. I don't have the admin points to full state this right here, uh, as we can uh, see. But, uh, you know, accepted Serbian, accepted Neapolitan, did a lot of converting. I think I converted probably most of the stuff that I conquered. We just have a couple of provinces left right here in Constantinople, of course. And, uh, yeah, built some buildings, you know, some marketplaces, some workshops, some churches. Never really focused on this too much since we had uh, income from other sources. Pretty strong army, pretty good navy as well, and uh, a very, very fun campaign. And I definitely do recommend that you guys go for the Latin Empire as well. And, uh, honestly, Noxos might be one of the easier starts for uh, doing it, if I'm being honest. Uh, Athens and Noxos are probably the easiest one to do it as. Uh, I don't know who else can do it. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Noxos in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Noxos in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.